Before you begin any exercise program, warm up at least three to five minutes. I'm joined by Jenny and Shayla. So let's get a warm up going. So from here, just walk in place. Nice and easy, getting your heart rate elevated and blood pumping. Take one arm, bring it right across your body, leave your shoulder down. You're gonna stretch the back of your shoulder, your tricep, even into the middle of your back. Let's switch sides. Take it across. Nice and easy. Again, keep that shoulder down, stretching the back of your shoulder, your tricep, and your middle back. So let the hands come down. Take one arm up over your head and gently bend it behind you, just stretching your tricep. You're going to hold on to that elbow. You're going to stretch the tricep and the side of your body. From here, let's switch sides. and then gently let it come all the way down. Let's take it up to a jog. This is gonna elevate your heart rate even more and get that blood pumping through your system. Let's work our hamstrings and our glutes into the equation by just doing a heel raise, stretching our hamstrings and our glutes as well as our quadriceps. So from here, let's pause. Hold our feet. Now we're gonna do knee lifts. You're gonna take a knee, you're gonna bring it up to your body, and then let it come down. Your hands assist you in stretching through your lower back and your hips. Let's do one more. And pause for a moment. Now we're gonna do a zombie exercise. What that means is one leg is gonna come out in front of us, the opposite hand is gonna come across our bodies and touch that toe. So bring your arms up and lift the leg up, back, up, back. If you can't reach your toes, it's fine. Just do what you can do. You're stretching your middle back, your lower back, your glutes, as well as your hamstrings, even your calves. Let's do two more. And bring it all the way down. Bring your hands down and interlock your fingers behind your back and just gently lift your wrists and your hands upward behind you. Don't lean forward. Keep your chest up. You're going to stretch out through your chest, the front of your shoulders, and your biceps. Yeah. So let your hands come all the way down. Now we're just gonna do hip rotations. Widen your feet out and just circle your hips around. Nice and easy. Stretching your inner thighs and your outer thighs. And then the opposite direction, nice and easy. And let's finish it by taking one nice deep breath in. Breathe up. Exhale it all the way out. That's the warm up. Let's get to exercising. This is big muscle group training. In this routine, you're gonna need some props. You need hand weights, as well as if you wanna challenge yourself, a Swiss ball. We're gonna do eight exercises at timed intervals. In those eight exercises, they're broken down into two levels, beginner and intermediate. Beginners follow Jenny, intermediates follow Shayla and myself. So again, it's eight exercises at timed intervals. Let's grab our weights and get going. So the first exercise, for beginners is a traditional squat. You're gonna widen your feet out slightly wider than hip width apart. It's gonna drop in through your hips and then come right back up. For intermediates, you bring your feet close together about eight to six inches apart. From here, you're just gonna lateral step out to a squat, come up and lateral step to the other side. And up. This is for 60 seconds, one minute. You guys ready? Let's go, do it. And up. So, for beginners, make sure you keep those abs nice and tight, your long through your spine, you drop your hips down and back, and stay on your heels. Intermediates, you're stepping directly to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what makes the lateral step more challenging is the fact that you are moving laterally. You're adding movement to the exercise, rather than standing in one place. So not only are you working your quadriceps, your hamstrings, and your gluteals, just like in a traditional squat, you're now working the outside of your hips and the lateral muscles in your legs. Oh yeah. You're gonna keep it nice and slow and work that entire 60 seconds. Here we go. So here's the last five seconds, one more. 
and then bring it all the way up. Now we're moving on to a bench press. For beginners, sit yourself down on the floor. Intermediates, grab your Swiss ball. Now, the motion of the exercise is the same. For beginners, you're gonna lie yourself down on the ground and do a pressing motion. For intermediates, you'll roll yourself down on your Swiss ball, lifting your hips, start with the weights right at your chest level. You'll press all the way up and then all the way down. So again, we're going for 60 seconds on this exercise. You guys ready? Let's do it. Roll yourselves into position. Start at your chest level. 60 seconds, let's go. Press up and down, up, down. It's nice and slow and focus on keeping your abs tight. Beginners, make sure your knees point straight up, feet are flat to the floor. For intermediates, make sure you're supporting through all those core muscles. What makes the intermediate on the Swiss ball much harder than lying on the ground is just that, there's no ground. So your body acts as the support mechanism as well as your chest, shoulders, and triceps are doing the motion of pushing or pressing. So you're working the large muscle groups of your upper body. If you're intermediate, you're not only working the large group, muscle groups of your upper body, but you're working your glutes and your hamstrings and the stabilizers through your spine of the lower body. So I'm gonna do one more of these and there's 60 seconds. Come all the way up, all the way down, then roll yourself back into position. Next, we're gonna do the bent over row with a back extension. So give yourself a little room. Now, beginners and intermediates are basically gonna do the same exercise. What makes it more beginner is go with a lighter weight. Intermediates, increase weight. So the exercise looks like this. Put your feet about six inches apart. Bend your knees, sit into your hips, bring the hands around in front of you. Very slowly, you lower yourself into position, keeping your back flat, row up, let it down, and then come all the way back up to an extended position. That's it. You guys ready? For 60 seconds. Here we go. Do it. Press down, row up, let it down, come back up. Do it again. Working all the big muscles of your back, from your latissimus, all the way through your rhomboids, trapezius, posterior delts, all the way down. Make sure you don't round your back on the way down. Keep that back nice and flat, press your hips back, and stay on those heels. But also, don't straighten your knees. Keep them nice and soft, keep them bent. Again, beginners, when you're doing the exercise, start with very light weight. Intermediates, challenge yourself a little more. Grab a heavier weight. The heavier weight makes the muscles work that much harder. These large muscle groups working burns more calories. So bring yourself all the way up and hold it here. Moving on. So now we're going to a bear hug front lunge for beginners and a non-lock squat for intermediates. For, so for beginners, you're gonna bring that weight right in front of your chest. You're gonna hug it in. You're gonna give it a bear hug. And you're gonna front lunge. So you're gonna lunge forward with one foot, come back, and then lunge to the other foot and come back. For intermediates, you'll bring the hands up over your head, go into a traditional squat position, and just drop straight down and straight up. Now, these exercises will take us 90 seconds. Go slow, pace yourself. You guys ready? Here we go. Get into position, bring the hands up for intermediates, hands into a bear hug position for beginners. Let's do it. Drop in and down. Go. Down. In both exercises, make sure that spine stays nice and long and tall. Keep your chin up. Ah, oh, yeah, working the big muscles of that body again, the quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. With the hands over your head, you're also working your shoulders, upper back muscles. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So for beginners, you're gonna really feel this in your quadriceps as you come forward and you're gonna press back through, feeling it in your hamstrings as you come back. What makes it more challenging as an intermediate is the fact that, one, your hands are over your head, so you're working more muscle groups with your upper body involved, and also you're dropping in through your hips, 
So your spine and core muscles have to stabilize the exercise. Yeah, yeah. Take your time. Don't rush it. Stay with this. You're building this wonderful power inside of you. So start to tap into it and let it help you. Become stronger. Oh, yeah, do it. So here's the last one. Come all the way up. And then from here, we're going to go to a dumbbell press for beginners and a Swiss ball press for intermediates. So intermediates, grab your Swiss ball. Beginners, you're just going to remain standing. So intermediates, have a seat. Again, just like the bench press, the dumbbell press is going to be just the same positioning for beginners and intermediates as far as our hands are concerned, and the same motion from here. So bring the weights up to your jaw level. You'll press them straight up and then straight down. We're going to do this exercise for 60 seconds. You guys ready? Let's bring them up into position right at jaw level. Let's go. Press up. Up and down. Yeah. So for beginners, make sure you keep your knees bent. Don't straighten those legs. And also, you're pushing through your heels. You're grounding down into the floor, and you're using your shoulders to press the weight up overhead. What makes the Swiss ball more challenging is that floor tends to move. The Swiss ball makes you use stabilizers in your spine and in the center of your body to help hold yourself upright. So you're really having to work keeping yourself upright and the shoulders fire. Yeah, my shoulders are on fire. I like it. Mm -mm. So whatever you do, don't round your back. Don't round into it. Stay up nice and tall. Great posture as you're training. Five seconds. And then bring it all the way down. So rest here for a moment. We're going to move on to a dumbbell tricep extension. For beginners, stay standing. Intermediates, we're going to stay seated on the Swiss ball. We're going to do a tricep extension by bringing the dumbbells up over our head. We're just going to drop them behind our head and then press them right back up. Again, make sure you're long through your spine and tight through your core. For one minute, you guys ready? Let's do it. Bring it up. Here we go. Press. Down. Up. Down. Up. It's nice and smooth and slow. But also watch your elbows, beginners and intermediates. Don't let your elbows flare out. When they flare out, you get into your shoulders. We just worked your shoulders. So keep your shoulders out of it. Keep them down. Keep your elbows in. Working the long head of the tricep. Beginners, remember that posture. You have bent knees, tight abdominal muscles, tight core, and you're just pressing that weight up and over your head. Intermediates, what makes this more challenging is by sitting upright on this Swiss ball that's constantly moving. So you have to control the ball, control the weight, and do the workout. Uh -uh. Yeah, here we go, last five seconds. We'll do one more here, bring it all the way down, press it all the way up, set the weights down. Let's move those Swiss balls out of the way because we're gonna go to a dumbbell lunge. <clears throat> so now, beginners, we're gonna do a dumbbell lunge. Intermediates are gonna do a dumbbell lunge with lateral raise. So a basic dumbbell lunge is holding the weights beside you, and you're gonna lunge back and up, then you're gonna come back and then up for intermediates. As you lunge, you add a lateral raise of your arms to the exercise. So bring it through, up, through, and then down. This is also for 90 seconds. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Go back and up, back and up. So we're using lots of big muscles here. Quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes. For intermediates, which makes it more challenging, is you're adding your shoulders into it. Upper back. Even more big muscles are involved. The more large muscle groups you use, the more calories you burn. Not just now, but throughout the rest of the day. So keep that chin and chest up. 
Be long through your arms intermediate. Don't shorten them too much, but don't straighten those arms either. Have a slight bend in your elbow. Keep your balance. <laughs> Woo! Beginners, remember, if you feel like you're not being challenged enough in that beginning exercise, join us. Add our lateral raise to it. You may be ready to move up, you don't know it. Yeah, 10 seconds, here we go. Hang in there. So we're gonna do one more. Come all the way up. Nice job. Moving on to our eighth and final exercise. The beginning barbell curl. So, for beginners, it's just a barbell curl. Intermediates, grab your Swiss ball. We're gonna do a seated hammer curl. So a traditional barbell curl for beginners, you're gonna turn your palms up or supinate your palms. From here, you're just gonna lift straight toward your shoulders, then all the way down. Intermediates, seated on the Swiss ball, we're gonna do a hammer curl. So you're gonna follow your thumbs on the way up, and your thumbs are gonna chase your hand on the way down. Just like that. This is 60 seconds. Oh boy, here we go. Let's do it. Bring it up and down. Go up and then down. Smooth and slow. Up and down. Make sure those elbows stay right beside you. Don't let them go behind you and don't let them go too far in front of you. For beginners, it's so important that you keep those abs tight and that chest in one place. You don't want to be moving forward and back. Keep yourself up nice and tall. For intermediates, same thing. Sit very tall on the Swiss ball. What makes the intermediate more challenging? It's very simple. You're seated on that Swiss ball, which means you have to engage those core muscles even more because you don't have your feet to help you to push through your legs. So you're really isolating to the best of your ability, your biceps, and even getting into your anterior delt. Hang in there, 10 seconds, you can do it. So here's the last one, let it all the way down. So now we got 30 seconds of a rest time. So take your chance to rest, breathe, prepare for the second time through. So here we go, set number two. Let's do it, let's go. Press, out and up. Intermediates, lateral step squat. Out to the side, squatting in. Beginners, that traditional squat. Either way, keep your spine nice and long, abs nice and tight. For beginners, when you're doing that squat, make sure your feet are a little wider than hip width. You're dropping your hips down and slightly back as you go in. Ah, intermediates, you're just adding that lateral motion to the movement. It's still a squat, just you're stepping out and then coming back to center. We're doing this for 60 seconds, gang. This is the second time through, so don't rush it. You start feeling a little tired, challenge yourself. Stay with that pace and make it all the way through that minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working those glutes, the hamstrings, the quadriceps, big muscle groups, burning big calories. So five seconds, this will be the last one. Step out, come all the way up. So on to the bench press. Grab that Swiss ball. Beginners, lie down on the floor. Let's go, roll yourself into position. Bring those weights right to your chest level. Here we go, pressing up and down, do it. Press up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So whether you're lying on the floor or on that Swiss ball, make sure your core is engaged and you're really pressing through your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Uh. If you've taken it up a notch and you're intermediate and you're on that Swiss ball, make sure you know you don't have a ground beneath you. So glutes, lower back, hamstrings, they all have to help support your body. 60 seconds here. Again, don't rush it. I know it's the second time through, but you can do it. 
Keep that smooth, steady pace. Yeah. Yep, five more seconds. We'll do one more press, bring it down, press it up, and then bring it all the way down. Sit yourself all the way up. Moving on to that bent over row. So it's a bent over row with a back extension. Feet about six inches apart. Let's go, take it down, row it up, let it down, extend your back back up. Row it down, oh yeah, row it up. Ah. Remember to keep that back nice and flat. Keep your knees bent and press your hips back. Stay on those heels the best of your ability. You're working through your back muscles from the lower back all the way up to the very top. So we're doing 60 seconds here. Hang with us. Beginners, you're gonna keep that weight nice and light. Intermediates, challenge yourself. Add weight to it. The heavier it is, obviously the more challenging it is. Mm, 10 seconds. Bring it up, let's do one more. Come all the way down, row it. Come all the way up. From here, going on to a bear hug front lunge for beginners or non-lock squat intermediates. Bring them up, widen your feet out. Let's do it, drop in, down, and up. Down, and up. So remember, this is now 90 seconds. So don't rush using those big muscles. Beginners, make sure those weights stay right on your chest. You're just bear hugging them in. Your abs stay tight. You're working those quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. Intermediates, those hands are over your head. Those elbows are staying bent. So you're not only working your hamstrings, quadriceps, and glutes, but also your shoulders and upper back. <laughs> For that non-lock squat, make sure you're sitting back on your heels and pressing those hips down and back. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch your posture. For beginners, make sure that front knee stays behind your front toes. Intermediates. Make sure those weights don't come too far in front of your body. Keep them right up over your head. Yeah, good stuff. So here we go, eight seconds. Hang in there, you got it. We're gonna do one more. Come all the way down, come all the way up. Moving on to a dumbbell press. Intermediates, grab that Swiss ball again. Beginners, standing up nice and tall, knees slightly bent, weights up to your jaw level. Let's go. Press up and down. 60 seconds here. So again, whether you're standing or whether you're seated, make sure that spine is nice and long. For beginners, when you're standing, those feet are flat and those knees are slightly bent. Make sure that core stays engaged. Intermediates, up and long through that spine. Also, those core stabilizing muscle groups really have to work to support you, to hold you in place. Remember, gang, it's 60 seconds. It's our second time through. Your shoulders are gonna burn, your back is gonna feel it. Really work those muscles. You're building that muscle to burn those calories, to reduce that fat. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Five seconds, yeah! We're gonna do one more, and then bring it all the way down. Moving on to a dumbbell tricep extension. Beginner, stay standing. Intermediate, stay where you are on the Swiss ball. The dumbbell's up over your head. You're gonna bring it down, and then up. Down, and up. Ow! Remember, gang, this is a tricep exercise. So try not to elevate your shoulders, and don't let your elbows come out. Keep them in. The closer your elbows are together, the more it works the long head of your tricep. Also, beginners, when you're taking that weight behind you, don't arch your back. Keep that back nice and long and straight up and down. 
Yeah. Feel in the back of those arms, those triceps. Uh-uh-uh. Hang in there. 60 seconds worth here. There's the last 10 seconds of it. You can do it. Five seconds. We're gonna do one more. Take it down, press it up, and moving on to a dumbbell lunge for beginners, intermediates. Dumbbell lunge with a lateral raise. So here we go. Feet's about six to eight inches apart. Let's do it. Take it back. Go up and back. Up. Uh uh uh. So you're working those shoulders. Remember, don't lift too high. If you're doing a lateral raise, make sure the weights stay just below your shoulders, no higher than shoulder level. Mm hmm. For beginners, just let those weights hang directly from your shoulders. They're just hanging down, they're just basically weight at the end of your arms. You're lunging back and stepping up. Working lots of big muscle groups, burning lots of calories. Yeah. Eight exercises, two times through, 20 minutes. You can do it. And it won't burn calories, not only while you're doing the exercise, but also the rest of your day. So this is 90 seconds worth. Hang in there. Uh uh. Yeah. Ten seconds to go. Let's do one more on this side. Bring yourself all the way up. The last exercise. Grab that Swiss ball. Beginners, stay standing. We're going to a barbell curl for you, seated hammer curl for us. Into position. 60 seconds, let's do it. Go up and down, up and down. This is it, the last exercise. Number eight on the second set. Stay focused. It's always on the last exercise. Your mind will start to wander. Your position won't be as good. Stay focused, be here, work with us. Uh, you've gotta really wanna burn it, and it's okay. It's supposed to be hard. Up, down. Oh yeah, beginners. Those palms are turned up. You're working, keeping that good posture. Intermediates, balanced on that Swiss ball. Up and long through your spine. In that hammer curl position. Lifting and lowering. Oh, 10 seconds to go, do it. and then let it all the way down. Nice work, gang. So that's the big muscle groups. Great job. Keep going, we'll see you soon. So this is speed interval training, the cardiovascular portion of our routine. What makes this unique is that we're gonna mix periods of low intensity and high intensity with timed intervals. Now research has shown that Steady state activities like walking on a treadmill for 20 minutes or a Stairmaster are not as effective at burning fat as the exercise we're about to show you. So let's do it. So first thing, 30 seconds, low intensity, let's jog, nice and easy. So when I mean easy, I mean easy. Be very gentle with your feet. Just let your hands move normally. It's just a simple jog. You're keeping your heart rate low, you're getting your body up and breathing, letting it get into the routine. So at the end of this 30 seconds, we're gonna go from low to high. So here we go, in eight seconds, get ready. We're gonna do high intensity jump rope. So four, three, two, let's do it. Jump rope, get up there, come on. So for 30 seconds, high intensity. So now you're really pressing off the ground, letting your hands move just as you had a rope in your hand. So your breathing will deepen, that heart will really start to work. Yeah, yeah. So, in eight seconds, 
We're going to bring you back to low intensity for 60 seconds. So five, four, three, two, and then jog it out again. So we're going to jog for 60 seconds, but be very light. Imagine you have eggshells under your feet, and you don't want to crush them. So be very light with your feet. Remember, gang, it's low intensity. You want to bring that heart rate back down. The high intensity, and go for it. But right now, it's low, and we're doing it for 60 seconds. And don't rush it. It's going to feel like, OK, I'm ready to go again. Trust me, this is proven. This exercise we're showing you, this is exactly how the research has brought it out. But just follow us. We'll get you there. All right, so here we go. So now we're going to go to high intensity for 45 seconds. So get yourselves ready. Get prepared. You're going to be really tight through your body. You're going to do jumping jacks in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Here we go. 45 seconds jumping jacks. Do it. Up. Ah. So your arms are long. Feet go out and wide, and then come back in. And that heart rate's really going to move. Let's do it. High intensity. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're doing cardio just like a roller coaster. You're going down and then up, back down and then up. Besides, it's more fun. Going one pace, that's too boring. Come on, hang with us. 10, 9, 8, 7. In just a moment, we're going to bring back the low intensity for 60 seconds. Three, two. One, and jog it out. So now it's a 60 second, low intensity level. Nice and easy. Again, light with those feet. Easy motions, normal motions with your arms. So keep it low. Let that heart rate come down. You'll notice after you get into high intensity, your heart rate, your breathing will increase for a moment, then it will settle back down. Just get into that normal breathing pattern. So start to get yourself ready. We're going to go from low to high again. This high is going to be for 60 seconds. It's going to be intense. You can do it. Just hang with us. So in 10 seconds, we're going to sprint. We're going to go for it. Here we go. In six, five, four, three, two, go for it. Sprinting, 60 seconds. Come on. Pump your legs. Pump your arms. Really feel that body getting intense, high intensity. Yeah! Keep those abs tight. Really. Lift off the ground and right back down. Fire your nervous system. Let everything come into play. Halfway there, hang with us. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the end of this high intensity 60 seconds, you're going to go into low intensity again. It's a nice, easy jog for 60 seconds. We're not there yet. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and jog. Make it easy. Oh, man. Let yourself have low intensity. Again, heart rate's going to go up. Breathing. It's going to get really heavy, totally normal. Just let it happen. The low intensity will bring it back down. Your heart rate will come down. Your breathing will come down. So remember those feet. Remember those eggshells. Don't crush them. Right? Light feet, gentle steps, easy motion through your arms. Halfway there, just a nice, easy jog. So once again, we're in a low intensity level. In just a moment, we're going to go back up to high intensity, this time for 45 seconds. Back to our jumping jacks. Hang with us, gang. You're doing great. So here we go in eight seconds. Get yourselves ready. We're going to go back to high intensity. Jumping jacks in three, two, one. Do it. Jumping jacks. Go. 45 seconds worth. Yeah. Ah. Ah. 
Oh yeah, arms are long. Feet are going out nice and wide, up and tall with that spine. Woo -hoo -hoo. Forty-five seconds, and you got it. Hang with us. So remember, after this, we're up nice and high. So in eight seconds, we're gonna go down low. Oh, here we go, two and one, jog it out. Gentle, easy steps, jog. Heart rate comes down, breath will soften, and you're just jogging it out. We're only gonna do this jog for 30 seconds, and then we go right back up again, 30 seconds with jumping rope. So don't go anywhere, don't let that mind wander, stay focused, be here with us. Come on along. So in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, get ready. High intensity, jump rope, last 30 seconds. Let's go, do it, jump it. Come on. Remember, if it helps you, you can go side to side. You can mix it up a little bit. Challenge yourself, make it your own. This is your training, this is your time, use it. Yeah. So in eight seconds, seven, six, five, four. Here we go, we're gonna just jog it out again. Let's do it, 30 seconds. So again, back to that low intensity. So keep it nice and light, let those hands move normally. You're bringing that heart rate down, that breathing is gonna slow down. So after this 30 seconds of low, we go back to 30 seconds of high intensity. We're gonna go do knee skips. 30 seconds. So get yourselves ready. Rev it up. Going from low to high. In five, four, three, two. Knee skips. Do it. So your knees come up. You got nice, strong arms coming through. Really working those quadriceps, hamstrings, and gluteals. Going for 30 seconds. Hang in there, guys. Come on. Yeah. So here we go, in eight seconds, we're gonna bring it back down from high to low. Four, three, two, and jog it out. Nice and easy. Be light on those feet. Easy motion through your arms. Ah, oh, jogging for 60 seconds. So remember, as we go along, those legs are gonna get really heavy. So be as light as you can. Remember those eggshells underneath your feet. Don't break them, don't crush them. Be as light as you can. If you can hear your feet on the floor, try to soften them. Yeah, we're just in that low intensity part. And even if you're feeling great, don't rush it. Trust me, this routine is designed to work. It's proven. You will lose fat nine times greater than doing a steady state activity. Hang in there. So from here, we're gonna do high intensity again for 45 seconds. We're gonna do squat hops, so get yourself ready. You guys ready? Let's do it. 45 seconds, go. Squat, hop it up. Your hands go right in front of your face and then back to your side. Squatting down, coming through. That heart is pumping, the lungs are burning. Keep moving. Yeah, doing this for 45 seconds. Hang in there. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah, so in eight seconds, we go back to a jog. So five, four, three, two, and just jog it out, nice and easy. So jogging for 60 seconds. Remember, light on those feet, easy through the hands, let them move normally, naturally, simple. Whoa! Whenever you come down from that high intensity, that heart rate's gonna go up, that breathing is gonna get really heavy, and then it will come back down. Just like you're on a roller coaster, that's the idea. You're gonna go from low to high, to low to high, just enjoy the ride. Whew. 
So once we're through this 60 second jog, we're gonna go into high intensity for 60 seconds. We're gonna do thrust reach ups. Hard stuff, you can do it. Here we go, get yourselves ready. We're gonna rev it up again from low to high. Five seconds, four, three, two. Bring your hands up and reach up and jump. Press, 60 seconds worth, yeah! Bending those knees, pressing off the floor. Do it, come on. Pressing those hands up, moving through that body. 60 seconds. Yeah, strong through your abs, long through your spine. Woo, burning. Keep going, gang. Reaching it up, pushing it through. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and jog it out. Nice and easy. Light feet, light arms. Whoa, heart rate going up. Woo! So. Jogging it out again, 60 seconds. So again, keep it light, keep it easy. If you're breathing heavy like I am, try to bring it down. <sighs> yeah. Feeling good, low intensity. But again, we're going back up in 10 seconds to high. Get yourself ready. Here we go, squat hops in four, three, two, do it. Squat out, hop up, out, hop, out. Ah. Breathe with it, go with it, yeah. Be long through that spine, strong through that body. You have the ability, tap into it, do it. There we go, eight more seconds. Hang in there, five, four, three, two, and jog it out. 30 seconds, nice and easy. Nice and light. So after this low period of 30 seconds, another high period of knee skips for 30 seconds. Man, burning. Burning muscles, burning calories, burning fat. Here we go, five seconds. Four, three, two, knee skips go up. Knees come up. Arm swing all the way up, all the way through. 30 seconds worth. <laughs> if you can't keep with us, take a break and then join us. If your knees aren't coming up as high as they were, it's all right. Just keep trying. And right here, jog it out, low intensity. Nice and easy. Taking it from high to low. 30 seconds of a jog, so keep it light. <sighs> Bringing that heart rate down. The breath is slowing down. Remember, if you can hear those feet, try to be really light on that ground. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So get ready for it. We're gonna rev it up again. This time we're going to jump ropes in four, three, Two, do it. Jump that rope, high intensity again. Come on, get up there. I know, it's been a while, we've been doing this. It's getting really tough. Hang in there, you can do it. Yeah. So be strong through that body. Strong in your mind, connect the two together, make them work for you. 
So in eight seconds, we're gonna bring it back down. In six, five, four, three, two, and jog it out. Just light, easy, heart rate's up, breath is heavy, be light on those feet, easy does it. Let those hands move. So we're jogging for 60 seconds. Don't rush it. Take this chance to be in low intensity mode. Just a moment. I'm gonna do those jumping jacks again for 45 seconds. I'm gonna get really high intensity going. We're coming toward the end. Oh, you guys are doing great, man. It's in you. You're gonna get there. So here we go. Get yourself ready, prepare for it. We're going from low intensity to high intensity. Do 45 seconds of jumping jacks in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, go. Jumping jacks, do it. So keep it long through those arms, wide through those feet, strong and tall through your body, and breathe. Yeah. Forty-five seconds worth. You're getting there. Oh yeah, you're gonna do it. Come on with us. If you feel like you can't get there, just follow us. Follow Jenny, follow Shayla, follow me. We're gonna get you there. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and jog it out. 60 seconds. Nice and easy, nice and light. Yeah. Again, that heart rate's gonna go up, that breathing's gonna get heavy, and then you'll bring it back down. Yeah. We're almost at the end of that roller coaster. You're doing great. Remember, this is a challenging, challenging routine. This is not easy. You're gonna sweat, you're gonna be out of breath, your body's gonna be hot, heated up. Keep going, hang in there. It's so much better than just getting on a Stairmaster or a treadmill and just going at the same pace for 20 minutes. That's just boring. Man, we're challenging you, we're really motivating and moving you, and you're right along with us. Here we go, eight, seven, six, get ready, we're gonna rev it up. We're going to that sprint, two, Bury it, let's go, sprint it out, 60 seconds. Come on, gang. Be strong, pump your legs, pump your arms, do it. Yeah, strong into that body. Even if you feel like, man, I just can't go any faster, keep up the effort, do the best that you can do. Sprinting, full 60 seconds. Don't give up on it. Uh. Halfway there, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Breathe, pump, move your body. Do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, get there. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and jog it out. Yeah, back to that low intensity for 60 seconds. Oh. Yep, heart rate will come back down. Breathing will slow down. Staying light on those feet. Remember those eggshells. Don't crush them. Your legs are gonna get really heavy. Keep them light as you can on that floor, on that ground. Let your hands move normally. Just an easy jog. Way, nice and easy. Yeah. So once again, in just a moment, we're gonna rev it up. Going back to high intensity, 45 seconds, we're gonna do jumping jacks. So get yourself prepared. I know you're hot, I know you're tired. This is not easy, but you can do it. Come with us. Seven, six, five, rev it up. Here we go. Jumping jacks, do them, go. Ah. 
don't cheat it. Keep your arms long, your feet wide. Tall and strong through that body. You're worth it, you can do it. Come on, yeah! Hang in there, gang. Breathe through it. Just feel it. 10 seconds. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, and jog it out. Nice and light and easy. One last part, one last piece. Rent low intensity for the last time. Now we're going back to our final high intensity. For 30 seconds, we're gonna jump rope. If you feel like giving up, don't do it. It's just 30 more seconds. I promise you have it in you. Come with us in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, here we go, 2, jump that rope. Last 30 seconds. Whatever you got left, let it out. Yeah, let it move you. Come on. Give it your best. Give it your all. What do you have to lose? Except calories and fat. <laughs> you did it. There's three, two, one. Just jog it out nice and easy to a cool down. Great job. I'm telling you, this is not easy. It's a challenging routine. It's a roller coaster ride to the extreme. Heart goes up. Lungs are working, body's working. So just start to cool it down nice and easy. Just jog it out, simple. And then from here, just take it to a walk. Again, you're bringing that heart rate back down. Breathe. Yeah. So take a moment to feel your body. Man, you just gave it some good stuff. So take that in. So nice and easy, slow your walk down even more. Your heart rate comes down further. Your breathing will regulate. Ah, you feel that sweat coming down, that body is heated up. So from here, just stop your feet. Very gently, let's stretch our calves and our Achilles. That'll help bring us down even more. So step one foot back, press the heel into the ground and bend your back knee. Just a nice, easy stretch. You're still breathing. Slowing that breath down, letting that heart rate come down. Step up, switch sides, switch feet. Again, heel down, bend your back knee. Still strong through your core, up and tall so you can breathe. And then bring yourselves up. Great job, gang. That is such a challenging exercise routine. Cardiovascular training to the extreme. You did it, you're here. Keep going, don't give up. We'll see you soon.